Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Making Ways podcast. We are back and we apologize for the major inconvenience. You didn't hear us last week because none of the mics is broken. Such a shame. We apologize. We are deeply, deeply sorry. However, we have created two other accounts on TikTok so you guys can watch more content, you know. We, we, we really, we've been pushing the content. We've been pushing it. We really want to get more people viewing the podcast. Yeah. Anyways, we haven't fixed the microphone. So we're going to go back to the store where we bought it from and we're going to go punch them up. We're going to yeah. what the fuck's this? No. I'm, I'm, I've been in a world of pain with this microphone yeah. because I'm the one who's meant to be doing all the audio setup yeah. and it's just been so... You're a slacker. You're a little snark kidding. It's been so painful. Our mic will not record audio. So we only got this one mic for today. Audio might be a bit lesser. We'll try and edit it and see how it goes, but it probably won't be as good as normal. But you know what? It's the progress. We're here at the end. It's it's all about the journey. It's not about where we are right now. It's about where we're going to end up, you know? Yeah. But we're building our way, you know? We're in a budget studio right now. It doesn't really matter, you know? All we're doing is pushing out content, pushing out content, pushing out content, so then... People can see what we're doing. Maybe they can give us a follow, you know. It doesn't really maybe matter. Maybe they can invest. Maybe they can invest. You know, if you're a rich fella out there, yeah. maybe give us a bit of money, you know. Yeah. Would be nice. It would be nice. It was so, nice. Killian. Yes. What have you been up to, mate? Not much, mate. Not much. I've just been like... Not much. Working on the business, working on everything. Um. Yeah. So what, what have you got in store for us? Mate? So, you know... Uh, I've recently discovered something that um, is a great passion of mine now, and I really love it. And that is op shopping, and in America, it's, I think it's called for shopping, you know? Yeah. Very, I love I love it. I don't know why Australia's going to come up with such an inferior name to op shopping. I reckon thrift shopping is so much better. Thrift shopping sounds like, it sounds badass. It does. When you say op shopping, it really does. It sounds like an old person thing to do. Anyways, I go in there. And I'm like, I'm not expecting much, you know? Like, some of them are really shitty, to be honest. Like, yeah. some of them are like, you, you find, like, old shit and, like... like found them you find You find the weirdest shit, like, a motorcycle club or something, and it's, like, or work clothes, and you're like, what is this? Or you found, like, a school uniform. Yeah, you find a school uniform, and you're like, this is outdated, What what is this? Yeah. But then you find, like, a gem, you know? You find, like, you find, like, hidden gems in there, and it's, like, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. Yeah. But, like, you know, it's, it's amazing. Anyways, you find some crazy stuff in there. Like I found a um a button up shirt, a nice little purpley one, purpley pink one. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, I it looked it. sexy. It was it looked sexy. sexy. I'm pretty sure we got photos of it. We did get photos. Right. And oh, uh, it was good. And what we did was we played that game when we went op shopping where you close your eyes. Where you close your eyes and you walk along the aisle and you try and get the best fit that you can get. Yeah. And it's thrilling, I'll tell you that it's much. Thrilling, um, and we got a pretty good fit, eh? Yeah, we did actually. We worked to a friend's birthday. We looked fancy. It was good, um, and the fit was only like maybe fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks together, so it was it was a bargain. And um, yeah, I love going bargain hunting. Tell you what, I can't wait to go back. Maybe if we have time today, maybe I'll, I'll show you the the one that I found. Jet. Yeah, yeah, I reckon we should. We were thinking about maybe going op shopping and buying some stuff for the podcast for you guys. Yeah, maybe a couch. Yeah, maybe a couch because it'd be more relaxing to sit on a couch than some office chairs, I reckon. I reckon too, you yeah. know. Anyways, um, book club, podcast book club. Yeah. Have you been reading your book? You have. I have been reading. What book have you been I have reading? I've been reading. So to fill you guys in, I dedicated myself to reading every day The Barefoot Investor which is a book about investing. It's a book about taking charge of your own financials. And yeah, pretty much that that's what it is. So I've been doing that, reading it every day. And so far I'm about three quarters of the way. So I've only got a bit to go and I've done a lot of changes in my life of how I'm handling yeah, money you are. and stuff like that. So to begin with, obviously... I've set up my bank accounts, and this is very important for you guys listening out there. Um, so I've, I've I've put my money in three different buckets, basically. You have this? Okay. Yeah, explain. I don't understand these. So I have the first bucket, which is the spend bucket. 
That's just okay. for your spend every day spendings or every day fund spendings? spendings, splurge, fund money. Oh, okay. So it's just um, one bucket. It's just the bucket for like stuff you're gonna spend. Yeah, short. And as how much how much of that might what's the percentage of that? Pretty much all of it. Pretty much. But all I'll, I'll fill it. Seventy percent. No, no, no. We won't do percentages yeah. right now. Okay. Yeah. Um. Pretty much all of it. And then the and then the second one is the grow bucket. So in that bucket you have your investments. You have all that stuff. Yeah. And that stuff covers your super. It covers your stocks. It covers your cryptocurrencies and stuff like that that I'm investing in at the moment. Your third bucket is your mojo bucket, and that's a real important one. And that's a lot of. A lot of Australians are forgetting to put money in their mojo bucket. Yep. Now, let me explain. The mojo bucket is pretty much a bucket for money in case anything bad ever happens. Yes. And that's the best way, apparently, to feel financially secure about your money. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you use that money that you get in your spend bucket. You put it into your, you put about... 20% each payday into your your mojo bucket and then that takes care of itself and then eventually you're going to have enough money in your mojo bucket to feel financially stable for the rest of your life. Uh, I'm not saying go spend it. Yeah. Never go spend it. It's that money, but it's always going to make you feel more secure. And then you have those investments on the side, investing in stocks, cryptocurrency. I'm learning about but saving up for a house, saving up for an investment property, uh, you, you're set, using my money wisely. So that's pretty much the book I'm reading about. Such a good book. I recommend it a hundred percent. Um, but I'm not even finished yet. So yeah. Fill, fill you guys in next episode, uh, about the book. Uh, what about you? So I've been reading a book. I hope everyone knows about this book. It's called Thinking Grow Rich. Yes. Look, I Who wrote it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look at who wrote it. I know it. who wrote it. Yeah. Napoleon Hill. Yeah, Napoleon Hill. Yeah. Anyways, I've been reading it. Yeah. And I've noticed something about myself. I, when I read a book, it goes in one brain cell and comes out the fucking ears. Like, I, I swear to God, I've, I've read like a hundred pages of it and I literally can only remember a few things. See, I think, I think, I believe, I, I think I'm more of a like, you know, a... Uh, uh, I when I listen to podcasts, I remember everything. I remember everything when I listen to them, or I'm a visual learner. But I feel like I'm not really a person when I read books that I get everything out of it like you do. Like, I remember this quote from the book that I remember, and I use it every day in training. I use it every day when I'm doing reels and stuff when I can't be bothered to do it, or when I'm when, doing when I, when my views get no when my videos get no views when. The, the microphone doesn't work when the bloody, there's shit everywhere in the garage, but you know, who cares? The quote is, no one is ever defeated until defeat is accepted as a reality. That's a good quote. And, I, and I've heard you say it before these past few weeks. Dude, it's, it's been changing me. Real changes. Like yesterday we did 2,500s, which is 10K in the pool. And... It was hard and I was like at number like 13, I was ready to give up. But then I kept saying to myself for the rest of the this, this set, I was like, no one is ever defeated until defeat is accepted as a reality. Dude, it gives you so much boost and at my times that you improve by five seconds. I was, I was making the wall, I was having time to drink and everything. It was, it was wonderful and I was like, damn. This quote really works. So you have gotten something out. I have got it, that, but that's like one of the only things I've got. Out of. What's something else? And the yeah, so what, the other thing I've got it out of the book is um, I can't remember the name because I it, it went in one ear and went out the other. But I remember him going to a fame uh, like a rich person who had invented something. And uh, uh, is that Thomas Jefferson with the light bulb? I think it might have been Thomas Jefferson and and his apprentice or something. And his apprentice was like poor. And he did everything he could to go to his town. So I think he hopped on a train, like, uh, illegally onto a train to get there. I think Thomas Jefferson, yeah? Not Thomas Jefferson. He's a printer. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. See, I, I'm reading, but it's not really getting there. It, it, yeah, but you saw it. It's soldering stuff so. out of it. So it, and he, and he, he did everything he could. Even if it didn't work, he just kept pushing at it. 
pushing at um, Thomas Jefferson to, to, you know, work with him, work alongside him. Until one day he decided to get, like, Thomas Jefferson gave him the chance to work with him. And now he's one of the most successful people in the world, the guy who went on the train. Yeah. And that's that's what you're saying. It goes back to the old... No one is ever defeated until defeat is accepted as a reality. Exactly. So I think a lot of our listeners can take that as something inspirational and maybe go read that book, these books that we're talking about, because they are very powerful books. They can teach you a lot. Ah, I remember something else now. Something else popped up. So I think there's five rules you've got to do to become successful. And I, I don't remember them all, but I remember them being... You have to look at yourself in like five years or so, and you have to visualize the steps that you want to, how you want to get there. And you have to pretend that you're already there. You know, you have to pretend like, you know, you've already got the mentality. You you are, you got to pretend if you want the Lambo, you have to pretend you're getting in your Lambo, even though it's like a Nissan Micra, you know, you got to, you got to like, you got to be living in the life before you're living the life. I'm not saying go buy the Lambo when you ha- when you get ten hundred bucks a week. Don't do that. Like honestly, I'm serious. Don't do that. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got. I know what you're saying. You got to work hard to get what you want, and you got to pretend you're there before you're there. I I totally understand that. I've like been I'm- listening to a podcast that my friend recommended. It's called MFCEO Podcast. Yeah. And he was talking about. That exact same thing. Yeah. You've got to visualize that you're already there. And I've also listened to another podcast as well with, what's his name? Psychologist. Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name exactly, but he was talking about, he was talking about that exact thing. You've got to visualize, visualize yourself in five years. And he was talking about how there are too many people in the world who underestimate yeah. the amount of things you can do in five years, but overestimate the amount of things that they can do in six months. Yeah. And that's exactly right. Because in six months, you think you can do everything. You think you can transform yourself. But really, it takes, it takes a lot, lot longer. Right. But in five years, you may be one of the richest people in the world just by doing those things. You know, I already know that I'm going to be rich and successful in five years. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that... You know what? In one year, I hope to have a studio for this podcast. Yeah. In two years, I hope to collab with like huge podcasters, you know, like the the, 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 the big ones, like the Fellas podcast. Inspired Unemployed. Inspired Unemployed. Low IQ. You know, Fair enough. Fair enough podcast. You know what? That's a, that's a goal that I can see myself doing in two years, in a year or so, you know? And then three years, you know, you you got like, I want to be brand living deals. successfully. Brand deals. That's before three years, but you know, big brand deals, like anyone really, you know. And then five years, you know, had all the money in the world. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't want all the money in the world, but I know I'm going to have all the money in the world, you know. <laughs> it's the same for me. Not even a doubt in my mind. Yeah. There's no doubt that one day I will be financially yeah. secure. Like, to be successful, I feel like you need to have that mindset. It's not even being cocky or egotistical or anything like that. Like you have to believe yeah. before you can achieve in anything in life. If you don't believe, it's going to be bloody hard to achieve. And you know, for those athletes out there, you know, you're training like an Olympian. We're training 10 times a week. What are the Olympians training? 10 times a week. How many sessions, how many Ks are they doing? Eight nine k's per session. What are we doing? Eight nine k's per session. You know, you you got you got to train like an Olympian before you're an Olympian. It's exactly the same. Yes, you got to do. You got to you got to have that person in mind that you want to become, and you got to do exactly what that person does. I'm not saying go ahead and copy their lifestyle. Exactly. Don't copy their spending. Copy what they do. Copy what they do. Their 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 mentality, their toughness, their training program, their everything. They go to the gym, you go to the gym. doesn't have to be the same gym. They go training, you go training. Yes. You go one step ahead of them. You do you do what they're doing and more. And, I, and I, I'll go as far as saying that you need to have a role model in your life yeah. to look up to always. You need to always look up to someone. Never think you're better than anyone. Yeah. And I, and I was listening to this other podcast. I, I listen to a lot of podcasts yeah. in my work. And that's the advantage of working 
in a job that you don't need to think a lot. You can, you, yeah. So I listened to a podcast and they were talking about being more mindful yep. of the things around you. And what I mean by that is you're not always right. You may think you're always right, but you're not always right. And you're probably never right. And what I'm saying by that is that you may come across people who have very, very different beliefs than you yeah. and very different opinions. And by listening to them and being open-minded and mindful, you're going, to learn you're going to learn something new. And you may not agree with it, but it's it's another opinion and you can listen to it. And I reckon that's very powerful stuff because if you open yourself up to a mentality yeah. and you, you don't know stuff, but you're willing to learn, you're going to become a lot better. Yeah. And I'm not saying this all, I'm not saying all this in, inspirational stuff because I think I'm an inspirational person. I'm saying this because I'm learning it right now, like you guys. Like I'm only one step in front where you guys can follow me and follow Nolan and you can, you guys can get ahead of us. Like we're just, we're, we're, we're your peers pretty much. Yeah. Not like any better. There's so many examples of this. Like you can do in swimming. Like I look up Nick Sloman in our squad. He was on the podcast, you know, I look up to you, you look up to him. You, you copy what he does in training, you know, you, if you can't, maybe you can't do the same cycle as him, but you still, you're still there. You're training. You're going as hard, you know, you're going hard. You look at what he does. You try to copy what he does. You listen to the coach and you're like, you know, how can I get there? You ask him, you know, how can I get there? What's a step, you know, reach out more, you know. Exactly. And our coach was talking about this yesterday morning. He's like, you got to just follow this guy because he's, he's, it's such a good privilege to yeah. train him with a person who's already very successful. And you know, he's not at the top. He's chasing someone else. You know, yeah. if you're at the top, you're chasing something else. You know, if you're at the top, you're chasing a world record. Yeah. You're chasing someone who broke a world record. You're chasing someone... You're chasing medals, you know, you're trying to break a medal world records and stuff. But if you're if you're at the back of the pack, you know, you're chasing someone who's, you know, ten steps ahead of you, you know. And that's all about direction because I, I read somewhere that a man without direction has nowhere to go. Yeah. And th that's exactly right. Like you're gonna go nowhere if you don't have any direction. You need yeah. to, you need to direct yourself in a specific direction and that's better to be aiming towards a goal than to aiming towards nothing. Like you're like this is an example, you know, that I've come up with. You're in the car, right? You're driving in a foreign country and you need to get somewhere. How are you going to get there without using maps? Like it's the same. How are you going to get to the top without using people, you know? Exactly. That's a very good analogy, by the way. Yeah. Did you actually? Come I just. Oh, I don't know if I came up with it. I just thought of it just saying so. Yeah, you should trademark that. Yeah, like you're not going to get to bloody example. You're not going to get. Uh, do you know how to get to bloody Toowoomba from here? Exactly. So you got to use your maps. I mean, you, you could fluke it. All yeah, you could fluke it along the way, but it's not going to. Not everyone is able. To not some lucky people can yeah. fluke it. You know, you can win the lottery, and there you go. But then you, you're going to lose it again. Like, yeah. do you know how to find your way back? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta learn all these things, and I, we we're, we're in the process of learning these things. Like you're not gonna get to the top by yourself. You're not gonna swim by yourself and get to the top. Some people can do it. Not everyone. Yeah. I def, I know I definitely couldn't. You need people. You need people along the way. Anyways, that's our book club. <laughs> we Jeez. learned a lot actually, and I don't know what you're on about by saying you it's come in one ear and out the other. I'm pretty sure it's just been stored in some massive library yeah. of yours that you just don't remember stuff until it comes up because right so um last episode we talked about the the five kilometer race we had we have had we, we were gonna do yeah and we we swam it we swam it and we and it right. holy shit we did good yeah like well good but like better than we thought we did like good like what did what what did you come fourth in the opens fourth in the open. i came second in my age group yeah and what would I have come in the opens? Fourth. I don't know. I can't remember about that. But we went well. We went a lot better than... We went a lot better than what we thought we went. We did. We, we were going to do. And um, yeah, it's it's good. Good stuff. Like, definitely surprised ourselves. We definitely did, yeah. But then coming back... I reckon the first week was easier than that second week. The second week, because we, we started doing like the hard sets again and yeah. everything. And we were struggling. Oh, but now with that, it's been getting progressively harder. Like yeah. first week was real easy. 
I'm not saying easy as in like the yeah. intensity was like yeah it was lower so then we yeah. weren't like we weren't low impact and stuff anyways um so I I actually so I actually came up with a few points for today's podcast yeah. and we forgot to mention while we were on holidays we became Madridistas. Madridistas. So if people don't know who that what that is, we joined the Real Madrid fan club. We paid a yearly subscription of thirty five euros. Yes, euros, not euros. Sorry. Um. So what does that include, Killian? I don't know. It includes a card. A card. <laughs> um. Not like a card. Like a like a card. Yeah, like a welcome pack. So I'm still waiting for that short mail. No. Um, Real Madrid play and stuff like that, but pretty much you're basically just a member yep. of Real Madrid for a year. You get discounts on up 200 things, 200 different products yeah. and stuff. So we're not making an ad for it. We're just saying like, yes, yeah. that's what we part of. Like, we had Dylan on the podcast. He's, he's part of the Suns. He's a member of the Suns and stuff like that. So we decided to become members of a football club, uh, just just for fun. You, you know? know, I really enjoy watching football, playing football on FIFA. Yeah. Are you going to buy the, the FIFA 24? I think I'm... No, I don't FIFA think so. 24. I don't think so. Um, I think I'm going to buy FIFA 24. Well, I've been looking at money a lot differently. Yeah, true. <laughs> but I don't know. I might buy it. I'm just thinking about like... I Me, I actually have been looking at money a lot differently and I've saved a lot of money too. Yeah. Like I haven't been going to the shops after work every day and buying a snack. You said that you wanted to change that before we went on holidays. And I changed it. And we haven't done it. Good job. Wrap us up. I've no, I haven't done it. I'm serious. I haven't done it since we got back. Yeah. Like, I reckon I'm saving 50 bucks a week. Ju- purely on on, junk. on food. Yeah. And uh, that's not talking about all the other shit. Like, I'm not... Well, I'm saying I'm not going to buy any more video games, but I think I might buy FIFA 24. Well, I mean, I did splurge on like some stuff on video games, but yeah, it, like you have to just allocate that money to, yeah. to to that. Well, you can't just. All right, look, you can. I know we just had a big chat about money and everything, but I'm saying like, have fun, also, you know. Yeah. Don't just become a robot. Like, yeah. what? What's what's gonna? What's a hundred bucks gonna do in like? Well, it's a lot, but you know. Well, if you put it aside, put it aside. And it's like in your splurge account, then yeah. you can you can spend it. If you have the money, go and buy FIFA 24. Go and buy that dildo you wanted. I don't know, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. You but can buy anything you want, bro. You can. We're not telling you don't spend money, you know. Spending money is good, but not every day. Not, you know, not on random shit. Well, I mean, a dildo is pretty random. Well, for some people, it's not, you know. For some people... Bro, it's an investment. For some people, OnlyFans? Dude, it's an investment. And pleasure. Why is it an investment? Well, OnlyFans. Yeah, how is OnlyFans an investment? No, like the dildo. Oh! Like, oh, if you're okay. a creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I'm saying, like, FIFA, you know, if you're if you're a, a gamer and you're streaming, go and buy FIFA 24. And then write it off your tax invoice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, write it off your tax. Yeah, well, you can write it off your tax because it's like right your job. Yeah, yeah. So you know you gotta be smart with that. Be really smart with that. See, I can't justify a FIFA twenty four for anything, but I could maybe you know I could talk about it on the podcast. You know? Oh, so then you can write it off. Tax write off. Tax write off. There we go. Think about it. You know what? Actually, if we talk about stuff on the podcast, do you reckon we could tax write off everything? Maybe, but it's I don't think it's a registered business yet. No, it's not, but when it will be. When it will be. When we start getting paid and we have a studio and everything. Mm. Which is not long. Not long. And we have two mics. That's also one thing. When people start businesses, they always like, oh, well, register it. I need to do this. I need to get the legals done. I need to do... No. I need to buy that studio. No. No. Get in your garage. Start with a little table like we do. Get a pallet. Get a pallet. That's, we found at bu- bloody bad Bunnings. On the side of the road. Side of the road. Get some fake plants. They might five bucks. You have a fake podcast. There you go. You have a fake podcast, and I've it looks pretty good. Get yeah. some sunnies because you look like a jet. Some sunnies, and you then look beautiful. yeah, sort it. Pretty much, you don't need to spend all your money on legal. That's the biggest mistake yeah. everyone does. Don't go for a loan and all that shit. No, right, look, you start. You start. What's an example? You start a car detailing business. You're not going to go out. You're not going to buy the newest. You're not going to buy a 
$1,000 um, pressure washer. No, you're going to buy a $200 pressure washer. You're going to use a hose. You're going to use a put hose. Put your finger on it your f- and yeah, just point yeah. at the car. You're not going to buy uh, $400 buckets with like bloody filters and like whatever no. soap dispenser. No, you're going to buy a bucket at Bunnings. It's two bucks. Not even well, use a 20 cents. Use a bowl from your kitchen. Use a bowl from your kitchen. Uh, you gotta go buy so- the the famous car soap. No, soap from the kitchen. Use your shampoo. Work hard. <laughs> yeah, use your shampoo. Work hard. Play hard. Everything. Use hard. Play hard. You know, and then you have the money later, and you can buy that stuff. Yeah, slowly. So, um, moving on. Who do you reckon when we went off shopping? Who do you reckon had the best fit? Because we put that poll up on the Instagram, and we have the result. Uh, Killian had the best fit, apparently. But who do you reckon had it? Because I reckon I didn't. At the end, I reckon I did. But at the end of the day, I reckon you did with the. Per- but I did but, cheat. Yeah, you cheat. I reckon Tom. No, be- because it didn't fit him. I, I, you know, I reckon Killian did. I reckon okay, just based off like the blind. Yeah. Um, you did. Thing it was me, but then when you put your fit together, yeah. it looked better. Yeah, I reckon. I liked. Him. I looked more like a farmer. Yeah. Just came off the farm and. But uh, you didn't cheat. I cheat cows. The only thing I didn't cheat on was the, the pants. Yeah. But I like the pants. I kept them. And we also put up a thing about... Because Nolan said that quote, actually, on the Instagram. Oh, yes. We read the quote. asked for people's um, best quote. Let's read the quotes out. I'll get yeah, you can read the quotes out. Get keep chatting more. So, basically, Nolan put up that quote that we just said. We asked who had the best quote, and we got a few quotes. Let's just say they're not all inspirational. Like we'll we'll dissect them. There's there's some quotes that are pretty concerning from our viewers, but I mean we're gonna say them all out for comedic purposes. But all right, ready? I got the first one. Okay, it is better to die in battle with eternal glory. That was good, and that was by our um, favorite person of the podcast who listens to every single episode. We think his name is Peter. Peter Curtis. Thank you, Peter. Uh, who else? All right. This isn't really a um, quote, but I like it. Um, it's better to come in the sink than sink in the cum. I mean, I'm, I yeah, agree with that. I agree with that, you know? It's like, you know, it's better to... Uh, let's reword this. So it's it's better to to die in battle than... No, it's better to die while trying than to seem to die and people run at you. Well, not trying, you know? Yeah. No, but I okay. I was taking it literally because I reckon that's a good quote. Literally, like yeah. you don't. What was the first thing? It's better to sink in. The, it's better to come in the sink. Yeah. And sink so in. I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you, you'd much rather come yeah. in the sink than come in a sock and have the socks flow. Over the no, it's table. much. It's much better to come in the sink than sink in the cum. So, it's much better to. Yeah. Let's move. Yeah. On. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next one is you remind me of my pinky toes. Sooner or later, I'm gonna bang you on the table. So this is a um, pickup line, not a. There's not much. It's not really quite, eh? No. It's it's pickup line. It's but pickup. you know what? I might use that. We might use that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So wait, what was the quote again? You remind me of my pinky toes. Sooner or later, I'm gonna bang you on the table. It's like that homework one where it's like, yeah, you're like my homework. I want to bang you on the table and yeah. do you all night long. Which I don't get because I don't want to bang my homework on a table and do it all night long. Well, yeah. so you, maybe you should do your right. Remind me of my PS4. I'm gonna use. Twi- I'm gonna finger you all night long. Yeah, I'm gonna play. Yeah, on, that's a good gonna one. play you all night long. <laughs> I wanna use that actually. Okay, you remind me of my PS4. I'm gonna finger you all night long. <laughs> yeah, that's... finger you until yeah, man, until my palms are wet. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> you remind me of my PS4. I'm, I'm gonna finger you to the pause. Sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is from my sister. Never give up. I love the support. Not, I love the support. You, you, there's not much to say about this one. But it's true. Up. It's true. Never it's like my up. quote. You know. Yeah. It's like you no one is ever defeated until defeat is maybe as reality. Okay, maybe she just wanted to simplify it for you. Yeah. She's simplifying it for me. All right. Um. I think that's it. Oh no. This is the. Uh, this is, was the last one. It's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits. That's good. Yeah. yeah. It's true. But I, I like to say more like it's all shits and giggles until someone shits and giggles. No, shits and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
I, I like it better. It's, I like it. I like saying it that way better. Oh, so you just, it's all shits and giggles until someone shits and Egg. giggles. Yeah. Okay. But it's like, it's the same thing. Yeah. Well, that, that was from one of my school friends. And we appreciate you guys for uh, saying that stuff because... Um, See, we're already starting to get all, people to send yeah, this message. You're all contributing. I just thought we were. This is progress. Slowly. Progress. See, you guys are seeing us progress. And slowly yeah. climbing the mountain, you know? Yeah. And we enjoy we enjoy you guys helping us out with that stuff because it's fun. It's a, it's a bit of fun for everyone, you know? And we're not going to give up on this podcast. Never. Never. Never give up on you guys. Yeah, exactly. We just used the quote from my sister. Never yeah. give up. <laughs> Never oh, go. shit. Shit. It's all right. It's all right. Keep it down. Keep it, Keep it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we'll put it back. No, we'll put it back. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it back. It doesn't matter. Wait, wait. I'll... You'll do it? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, are you listeners, the um the Killian. puff filter just destroyed itself. You had a you had a date? Okay, yeah, I did. I did. You don't have to go too much into detail, um, but you just explain, you know, you don't have to say the name. Just say you had a date, you know? I did have a date. Um... I mean, for me, it was a date. Yeah, for you, it was. Um, hopefully, it's it's um, it's hopefully successful. What's it? What do you mean? Um, mutual, mutual. I liked it. He liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed the first. So, what was the first one? What was the first? First date? one, we went to. A yeah, the second place. date, actually, guys. Second date. Um, the first one, we went to a place um, in Coventry. Walked around a bit. Talked. Um, that was fun. Um, second time we went to the beach, uh, got some pizzas, picnicked on the beach. That was fun. Any yeah. funny business? I guess, no, no funny business. No funny business, mate. Any holding hands? No. Cuddling? Kissy kissy? Sure about that, mate. Mate, nothing happened, mate. Why are you going red? Mate. No. Why are you smiling? That's... Just... No, 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 nothing. No, no, no. No, no. Tell me later then. I'm, no, okay, no, no. You, there's something that... All right, all right. I might mute this out, eh? I might. Something definitely happened. No. It doesn't matter. They don't know who Nothing it is. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. But so she, she probably doesn't even listen to it. when she doesn't. Yeah. I enjoyed the the um, conversation. It was a very long conversation. It was very good. It went for like a solid. Yeah, you got home late. You got home at 11.30. For a solid six hours. You go for a swim? No. Well, anyway. Like... All right, she sat down for six hours and talked. That's and you didn't cuddle. I oh, was that for? No, that was a four. We didn't, bro. We didn't. Okay, don't cut this out. It's it's all raw. All right, okay. We're gone raw. So what I'm okay. You didn't go raw, moving, did you? No. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Okay, so I've um created a new Instagram account. Yeah. This is part of the podcast jingle. progress, by the way. We need to do a jingle. Oh yeah. Do you, okay. Ready? I'll uh, sing. Why no? You'll sing? Yeah, I'll sing. Okay, I'll just be. What's what's it, what we're talking about? Oh, we're talking about the TikToks and stuff. Your new. Yeah. TikTok. Podcast. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready. Welcome back, welcome back to the Baking Ways podcast segment, progress segment. I reckon that was the biggest dick ever. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Anyway, so I've created a new account uh, for TikTok where it's like, it's just facts. Because lately I've been doing voice voiceovers to yeah. my parents because they have an account. And it's going well actually, their account. Yeah. Almost at 100k subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. So I've been doing voiceovers, yeah. and I found that I'm pretty good at voiceovers. You are. So I've become I've begun to make daily facts for people. Yeah, you have. On what's, uh, what's your link? What's your handle? Just killing Carell, bro. And is it on Instagram or TikTok? No, or just TikTok. TikTok. Just TikTok. Yeah. And so I've got a fact prepared for, for people. Oh, okay. Go okay. On. So Go I've I've been discussing facts, and I prepared this one fact because I thought it was interesting. Because the most sigma person of all time, guess who it is. You. No. Julius Caesar. Ah, yes. Yes. Most Sigma person of all time. The date was 75 BCE. Oh, so you've talked about this on your TikTok. Yes, I have. Okay. But um, because... Just go. Because I'm listening. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're not on TikTok. So go. Date was 75 BCE. I didn't get that. Oh, shut <laughs> The date... Oh, that, that brings me to the Apple Watch. I also signed... We'll save that for our... We'll, we'll start that up. All right. The date was 75 BCE. Julius Caesar is like the emperor of the Roman Empire. Yeah, if I'm correct. Yeah, he's thinks. So. I'm a bit of a history buff, by the way, so yeah. I do like I do like my history. So he's the leader of the Roman Empire, and somehow he manages to get captured by pirates. Now I don't understand how he got captured by pirates, because he would have had his army with him or something. But he got captured by pirates. He went on a walk with his dog. He might have gone for a walk. He might as yeah. 
He might have just walked his dog. Anyway, he might have um, found a missile, you know, in the when we were out clubbing. You know, he might have. Yeah, I don't know if clubs were out at that time. But Probably he, were. He might have gone out. He might have met like a missile, and turns out she's a pirate and catfished him and brought him on his ship. Turns out it's a Thailand bloke, you know. Yeah, turns out it's a she met. Yeah. Anyways, so we we're on this boat, right? Caesar's on the boat. There's pirates, and they're all holding him on ransom. They're asking for money. Anyways, he's. They think he's nuts. He's like trying to boss them around. They have no idea who he is, by the way. Yeah. He's bossing them around. He's telling them, I'm going to literally, when I cut, when I get released, I'm going to... Peg you guys. No. No, no, no. He's going to crucify them, apparently. And cru- Okay, so he threatens to crucify them, right? And yeah. at that point, they're like, this guy is fucking mental. This guy is sick, dude. Like, what the fuck is going on? He thinks he's just going to like come back and crucify us. Like, what the fuck? Anyways... He gets, they get the money from him, um, and and then they, he gets released. Apparently, I don't know how much. Ten bucks back then is probably bro, ten. He, they it. probably gave him ten bucks, and they turned millionaires. Oh. Anyways, they were millionaires for a short amount of times because he gets released, <laughs> and then he goes straight to Rome, grabs his army, and they come back, and they literally grab the pirates, and they crucify them yeah. all, all, of them. all of them, every single one of them. He puts them up on a cross. Kills. Nails their hands to the cross, and then crucified. Done. Finished. Dead. That's lit, bro. That is the most sigma thing of all time. Yeah. Imagine getting captured, right? Yeah. Then you go back to where you were captured and literally kill every single one of those. That's like Andrew Tate's great granddad. Yeah, he probably is. I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like that is the most set of pirate ships. He's got bigatties. Yeah. Well, instead of um. Yeah, Gaddy's back then were chariots, yeah. I reckon. Like, yeah. holy shit. Like, imagine taking over an empire and then, like, fucking up everyone in yeah. your Like, So, anyways, how's your TikTok going? Was it? Yeah, it's going. How many followers you have? It's going good. I've, I've learned a lot of facts. Yeah. And I'm like... You're getting better. About them. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at public speaking and yeah. talking, which is very good. Very good skill to have. What about you? I feel like we're getting better at podcasting too, maybe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyways, I started a, a new account on TikTok. It's called Nolan Reacts because first I wanted to do reacts to videos, but I was like... You don't change it? Oh, I can change it in a few days. Um, anyways, I'm doing skits because I, I do like acting. Yeah, you're pretty good at it. I, I do like acting. You know, it's I've always wanted to a little bit. Yeah. But I didn't want to join the drama club in yeah. school because, you know. But as we do on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, and it's, uh, I like it. I've done a few videos. I hope you guys find them funny. You can go follow me, Nolan React, but I'll probably change that name. Mm-hmm. I'll probably just change it to Nolan Carroll. You know what I reckon we should do? What? We should act out Caesar getting kidnapped by pirates. I'll be the pirates. So we have to go buy some costumes. No, no, no. We should do it now. Okay, so I'll be, uh, you could be Caesar and I'll be the pirate. Okay. Okay, okay ready? Okay, wait, wait. Because I reckon we'd be pretty good. Okay, I'll capture you. Ready? Okay. Yo, big fella. Uh, what are you doing out in the streets with the with your dog? Come come to my uh, Bugatti chariot. Uh, we're going to take you to my palace. Wait, are you Caesar? I'm Caesar. Oh, no, we're going to take you back to my, uh, yeah, my palace, my home. Okay, Look let my me with you. As long as I get the root. You get to my uh, vagina and boobies. Yes. I don't have a penis. Don't don't worry. I don't have a penis. Good. Okay. Come with me. Anyways. Do, 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 do. Walk home. Walk it. By the way, I'm in a chariot that's closed off. I can't see where I'm Yeah. Going. Anyways, we get there. And then... Uh, let, Wait, what the fuck is that? I'm going to take you upstairs to my, to my room. What is that? Bulge. Oh, it's a bowl. It's no, no, it's it's my vagina penis. You have a penis. Shut up. Get down, boy. You're under arrest for having too much money. Do you know who Wait, I am? No, I don't know who you are. You don't have too much money. I don't know if you have too much money. Do you know who I am? No. I am the great Julius Caesar. That's bullshit. I don't know who that is. How do you not know who I am? I'm literally the guy oh, who owns you. Pay this $10 million ransom or we- Crucify you. No, I'm not Catholic. Okay, wait. I'm going to call my- I'm going to call my associates with my- You get one phone My call. imaginary phone. Okay, let's go. Hello? Yeah, these dickheads- these Bro thinks he's good at holding me for rent. Bro thinks he- Bro thinks he has money. 
can't get out of here. Yeah, can you come get me? Oh, that's bullshit. I'll give home. Just give him my tail. We'll crucify them later. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, sweet. Bring your Wait, army. Wait. All right, they're coming now. No, they're not. I don't believe you. Anyways, they pick right, him up. 20 minutes later. Pick him up. Yeah. All right. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> Boy, you tell me. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Do you want a root now? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Army, come here. Yeah. Oh, no, shit. All right, now oh. Ed. Yeah, he's dead. Ed. He's, not dead. he's dead. Finished. That's the story. That's the story of Julius Caesar. That's a good story. I reckon it was good. Tell us if you enjoyed it. Do you reckon he was kidnapped by she though? So? Maybe. Yeah. I reckon the, the she probably had a big cock, though. Oh, I got a big VDE. Yeah. Yo, big bud, did you like the, the story? Why? Did, okay, why? Why did... Did she... my accent change like 20 times? Yeah. You turned from like... A black fella to like a an American guy, Italian, American. and then I would turn into a female when I spring. Yeah. I but it's not remained Australian. See, yeah, yeah. So Caesar's that, Australian. That, by the way, that's our application. Wait, how is Caesar Australian? Australia wasn't found when Caesar was captured. No, that I'm just saying because I've got the Australian accent. So we just recreated history. We just recreated history. Yeah, that's sick. It's actually sick. So and guys, Julius Caesar. I think that wraps up our episode. Yes, I reckon that's good for the episode we appreciate you guys for jumping on and listening to the best podcast in the mf world thank you very much uh and tune in for our next episode oh no 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 no. we have we've had a thought yes so we've been thinking maybe we start you know an episode a week okay so i was thinking maybe not an episode a week but doing an episode every two weeks and doing a little segment once every week. Or, oh, so doing a 10, 15 minute. What if we double the length of the episodes? No, because then, no. I reckon we, we make we keep it short. Because I don't think someone wants to sit there and listen to our podcast for maybe three hours. Of us, like, talking about Julius Caesar, but getting kidnapped by she -mails. Okay. Maybe you would just stick to we'll it. We'll like, think about it. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Let us know. Let us do it. Do a TikTok. We'll do a poll and shit. Yeah. Okay, well, that wraps it up. Thanks, guys, for listening. See you in two weeks. Thanks, Gene. Bye, See you. Hey, don't do that shit. No, okay. See you. See you.